In this movie, I'll introduce you to the notion of control handles and I'll also show you how to create an anchor point that includes control handles using the pen tool. So the idea is this. It's one thing to create this curving amorphous shape that we have here, but it's another thing to create precise curves. And if you look closely at this shape that we've created, it has these sort of cornery areas, these rough transitions, almost like there's an elbow joint at a couple of locations, at the top of the eye, for example, and over here at the top of the jaw, on the side of the jaw, at the point of the chin, and so forth. What if we want more control over our curves? For example, I'll go ahead and switch to the final version of the pen drawing. And using my black arrow tool, I'll click on the yellow lips. And you can see that whatever you think of their cartoon quality, everything about these lips is absolutely deliberate. We have extremely smooth curves all the way around until we get to this one corner at this location here, which of course is absolutely deliberate as well. And this is all a function of control handles. So, so far we're seeing all of the anchor points. If we wanna see the control handles, you go up to the select menu, you choose object and you choose direction handles, which is another one of Illustrator's terms for control handles, by the way. And what that does is it deselects all the anchor points and selects all the curving segments so that we can see their control handles. And notice that the control handles appear as little circles at the end of levers. And we can see a pair of control handles, so two control handles, for each and every one of these curving segments, which is exactly the way it should be. You want a control handle determining how the curved segment exits its anchor point, and another one inviting the curved segment into the next anchor point. Now, we will ultimately be drawing these lips, but let me provide you with a simpler example up front. I've got this file called ellipseexercise.ai. It's found inside the 10 pen folder. And what I'd like you to do, notice all we have is just a series of guidelines at this point. I want you to make sure your ellipse layer is selected in the layers panel. And then go ahead and select the ellipse tool from the shape tool flyout menu. And I've got smart guides turned off. I keep doing that because I'm trying to avoid the flashing on screen. I'll go ahead and turn the smart guides back on. And then I'll drag from one corner of those guides to the other in order to create a huge ellipse. And it happens to measure 400 points wide by 250 points tall for what that's worth. I'm gonna press control semicolon or command semicolon on the Mac to temporarily hide those guides. And I want you to notice after we get done creating the ellipse, which by the way, is the most perfectly smoothing form there is, either a circle or an ellipse, is nothing but smoothness. You can see that we have exactly four anchor points because that's all we need in order to define an ellipse. One at the top, one at the bottom, and of course one at either side. If we wanna see the control handles, we do the same thing we did before. Go up to the select menu, choose object, and then choose direction handles. That goes ahead and deselects the anchor points while leaving the segment selected. And as a result, we can see each one of these control handles. Well, let me show you how they work. I'm gonna to switch to the white arrow tool. And a great thing about any shape inside of Illustrator is you can modify it using the white arrow tool just as if it was drawn with the pen tool. So for example, if I wanted to change the curvature of this segment, and I could go ahead and drag the handle. And I want you to notice this. The handle is the little round thing right there at the end of the lever. And the lever connects the handle to the anchor point. The segment, that is the path segment, has to go through the anchor point. So each segment starts at one anchor point and ends at another. Which anchor point is which isn't really that important. It might start down here and then end up there just as easily. More to the point though, these handles determine essentially the exit strategy of the curving segment. So for example, this segment is curving toward this control handle, but it never is quite touching it. So if I wanted to increase the curvature of this segment, I would go ahead and drag in this case, the handle upward, because I'm dragging the handle away from the segment. If you wanna decrease the curvature of the segment, make it more shallow, then you move the handle closer to the segment like so. You can even flip that handle to the other side and then go ahead and drag farther away if you wanna bend the segment very severely in a different direction. Now, another thing to note here, I'll go ahead and move this guy back up, is that I'm moving two handles at the same time, not only the one that I'm dragging, but the opposite handle as well, as if the two are on a kind of seesaw with the anchor point serving as the fulcrum. 
And that's because what we have here is a smooth point. And anytime you have a smooth point, then your two opposing control handles will move in opposite directions. They won't necessarily remain symmetrical. You can see in this case, I have a very short handle and then a very long handle in the other direction, but they will remain in opposite directions from each other. And so you can modify this ellipse to your heart's content. I could drag this guy completely the opposite direction if I wanted to. All right, so I'm gonna press Control Z or Command Z a few times until I get my original ellipse back, which I believe is this guy right there. And I'll press Control semicolon or Command semicolon on the Mac in order to bring back my guides. Notice that I've gone ahead and positioned my guides at the exact location of the anchor points and the handles. So I've got intersecting guides at all locations required to create this ellipse. And the reason is, we are going to draw this ellipse by hand using the pen tool just to get a sense of how the pen tool works, and we'll be doing so in the next movie.